Today we're going to restore old photo using Affinity Photo. Next time I'm going to recolor this picture as well. So please subscribe to my channel so you will not miss the next tutorial. Alright, I will simply drag and drop this old picture to my Affinity Photo and here it is. I like to create a copy of this image on my layer panel first, so I will simply right click existing layer here and select duplicate. This way we can make all changes on the copy above the original picture. So I will name it old and new. All right, while working on restoration, you will need to zoom in and out a lot. You can do that, do it by using shortcuts like Ctrl or Command plus minus or also navigation slider. Here's the group we're going to use today. There are several tools inside. So let me use this one first. This is patch tool. You create little selection and then you can point a new source for this area. So the selection will be replaced by similar texture that you point with your mouse. All right, the next thing is, it's, it's healing tool. So I cannot just simply click on something. Take a look what will happen, there's an error message. They want me to select a source for healing first. So you must create a so source first and then based on this source, you can heal some damage. All right, and this is tool number three, the most important one, the most universal one. This is the tool I'm going to use for most of the time today, like 90%. You can simply paint over damage and the program will try to analyze the surrounding area and content aware fill the area you just marked with this red color. All right, keep in mind, sometimes you must try a different stroke. If you try for stroke from left to right, it's not good you can undo and then you can try stroke from right to left from top to bottom all right you can of course use path selection like this for big area that's very handy all right so i'm going to blend those two tools in painting brush the one that left this red mark like this and also for the bigger area from time to time, I'm going to use this patch tool that I showed you before. All right, so this is my workflow. Damage restoration is kind of time consuming and a little bit boring process. So let me just speed this up a little. This way I will be able to show you what will be our next step after I remove all scars. All right, I'm going to use just two tools I already show you. Use zoom, zoom closely like this, and then try to mark paint over all scars. If the results are not good, undo and try again. All right, let me just speed this up so I can show you our next step, the color correction.
Okay, seems like I was able to remove most of the damage. So this is before and after. So we got nice progress here using this in painting brush. Really great tool and easy to use as well. Simply paint over the damage and then let the tool pick the content from around the damage and fill the gap. Okay, seems like we almost done with the damage reparation. Now we can apply some filters to get rid of noise. So filters at the top, noise, and we will denoise this picture. The noise in this photo is caused probably by scanning. So we can get rid of that. This is act of balance, so don't overdo this. The program will remove the noise by slightly blurring, blurring the background. So you, you don't want to do it too much. Maybe like this. All right, take a look before and after. You can see small noise from the background disappear. That's nice progress here. We can also adjust colors. We will need to add some contrast to it. Usually all pictures are exposed on light, UV, so they, are, they got low contrast. We need to fix that by pulling the contrast slider to the right. Then we can match this adjustment layer to the image. All right, so we add some contrast to it. Now, desaturation. So it will be a little bit, a little bit less yellow here. We can move the slider desaturate so we sucking the colors out of this old image all right and again we can match this layer and here it is so we denoise and also boost the contrast and desaturate the picture now i create a copy of this photo and i will do some experiments i will try to remove scratches it's also using the blurring technique so as i mentioned this is act of balance you cannot overdo it because you will blur faces and destroy the picture like this we don't want effect like this so i will try to do some tricks maybe apply a few different filters and then make a mask so i can see true faces i can see original faces on the layer below all right, so let's try to do something like that. This way we can blur the background a little bit more, remove scratches and noise from the background. All right, let's try again. We'll remove the noise from this layer and this time I will be not careful. I will put the slider to the right. I will almost blur this picture. So remove a lot of noise because later on I will mask out the face. So I don't need to worry about that. Let's even use the blur layer. So we can slightly blur everything like this. It's not sharp now, but don't panic. <laughs> Let me do this first. All right, so this new layer is blur. Means we get rid of the noise in the background completely. But I need to apply mask on it. So this is the mask. Then normal paintbrush, very basic and soft paintbrush. So we got brush tool here. I'm on the mask layer and I need to select black color. And simply paint over faces. And generally we will paint all around the person. So all important elements of this picture will be sharp again. So now I'm hiding this blur. So I will keep the blur on the background, but I will get rid of the blur from people here in the picture. So I'm masking this new layer that I blurred the background. You can completely skip this operation. If you don't know how to use mask, you can just skip this blurring operation. That's fine as well. I just need my background to be a little bit less noisy. It's why I decide to put full blur on it. All right, so we got quite good result here using only basic easy tools. So I hope anybody will be able to replicate this effect. Okay, so we get rid of damage using in painting brush tool. 
Then we adjust contrast, colors, and remove noise. My additional step was to blur the background and then mask people in the picture so only the background is blur. And that's all we did today. So we got our reconstruction done. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, next time in my next tutorial, I will continue working on it. I will recolor this picture. So I will turn this black and white image into color. So if you want to see that, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you think that you want higher quality of reparation, you should simply do everything again. So simply zoom in, select some healing tool like in painting brush or path tool, any healing tool that you like, and then do one more round. So zoom in, go around and remove even more damage, more scratches. All right, guys, thank you for today. And I will see you in my next tutorial where we're going to recolor this picture. Bye bye.